Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial video I'm gonna talk to you about the um, a gross anatomy of the uh, spleen. Let me start saying this, the spleen guys has two ends and three borders and two surfaces, although I don't like numbers but it's easier to remember. Let us start with the ends of the spleen. This is uh, in this figure you can see the uh, 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 medial view of the uh, spleen. Look up here the uh, medial uh, end of it. You can say okay this is the medial end where is the lateral end? Okay this is the lateral end. This is the lateral end. So, if you look the, in the uh, toward the medial end, you know the spleen becomes like narrower, right? It's tapering, but the lateral end is broad. Well, you can say, how's that? How comes this is the medial and this is the lateral? Okay, let me show you. This is an anterior view. Uh, and you know this is the uh, diaphragm and there is another video about the position of the spleen so this is the diaphragm and we know this is the stomach we know that the spleen located between the uh, uh, fundus of the stomach and the um, uh, diaphragm and this is the correct position of it so this is you know these ribs so this is lateral and this is the toward the midline which is medial so this extremity is the medial and this one is the lateral one back again so this is the medial and this is the uh, lateral uh, end now what else you have to know also that uh, we can raise these, okay? So also the uh, spleen has um, three borders. The superior one that's in the blue color here. This is the uh, superior border, and this is the the green one, right? This is the inferior border. And in between, between the superior one and the inferior, there is an intermediate border, this one, which is incomplete, that extended from the medial end from here toward the hilum. This is the hilum of the uh, spleen. Now, back again to the... Uh, um, superior border you know the superior border is sharp as you see and it has a kind of notch which can be felt if the spleen enlarged a case known as a splenomegaly so if the spleen enlarged three times more than the uh, its actual size, so we can feel the uh, this border. Why? Because of the knots exist here. And what about the inferior border? This is the inferior border of it, and you know it's broad and kind of smooth. And the last one, which is the as we said. Uh, the intermediate border that's located between both of them that extended again from middle end to the hilum. What about the uh, surfaces of the uh, uh, spleen? You know, the spleen has two surfaces, as you see here. This is the smooth diaphragmatic surface, and this is the uh, irregular. Uh, concave visceral uh, surface. Let us start with this one with the diaphragmatic uh, surface. You know, it's a kind of a convex, and if you look here, it's in the back, right? It should be here, right? 
in the back we cannot see it but it's against the diaphragm here is the diaphragm so so it's against the diaphragm and you know um it uh, you know the, the the diaphragm itself as you see separates the spleen from the base of the left lung that's located here right and from the uh, lower part of the pleura you know the membrane that covers the um, uh, wall of the, the thoracic wall should be here right and the ribs number 9 10 and 11 now what about the visceral surface this is the visceral surface it's concave, irregular, and directed toward the abdominal cavity. Where is the abdomen? Okay, there is the ab here is here is the abdominal cavity. So this is the visceral surface, right? This is the visceral surface directed toward the different organs and structures in the abdominal um, cavity. Uh, and here you can see. Uh, this is the visceral um, surface of the spleen. Back again, you can see that um, the visceral surface has, um, most importantly, the hilum, which is an entrance for um, vessels, of course, entrance and exit of vessels, and at the same time, you can see there is a kind of impressions on the visceral surface. There's a, an impression for the uh, what we known as gastric impression for the fundus of the stomach, and there is another impression for the left kidney, the anterior surface of the uh, left kidney. It's called renal uh, impression or renal area, and another impression which is known as colic area or colic impression for the left colic flexure. We'll talk about the flexure that means bending, right? Here we go. So this is transverse colon and it bends, sorry, it bends here. So, and this is like impression for the kidney and this is for the stomach okay and if you look here there is very important impression for the for the tail of the pancreas you know the pancreas extended up to the end this is the tail of it that gets in the hilum this is the hilum right the hilum of the spleen let me show you here is the uh, visceral uh, surface of the spleen and you can see here we go this is the gastric impression for the uh, stomach right and here in the uh, colic area or colic impression right this is the transverse colon and this is the descending colon so there is a flexure here and there is another impression for the uh, uh, kidney, for the left kidney, called renal impression or renal area. This is the left kidney, right? This is the left kidney, okay? And this is supra renal gland as well. So, here in the impression for the uh, kidney is called renal area. And most importantly you can see here the tail of the pancreas this is the pancreas this is the head neck body and this is the tail of it so look here is the impression for the tail of the pancreas in the hilum 
Thank you. Hope you uh, find uh, value in it.